We're gonna do a painting or two. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And I've put my Prussian blue on the canvas, on this canvas, this old canvas. <laughs> well, I should probably explain myself. So, a while ago, I was doing a painting and uh, fell off the easel. <laughs> I caught it and it went everywhere and I was like, well, that, that's the end of this painting. So I scraped it all off and uh, and let it dry. I forgot about it. And there was a dry canvas and I was like, whoa, a canvas, a canvas that I can paint on, fantastic. So I got the Prussian blue out. I want to do this scene. This scene that I saw on the way to work. I mean, I painted a seascape. <laughs> I don't see the sea on the way to work, but somehow that came out of my brain. Um, but yeah, that's not what I see. I don't see the sea, which I did see the sea. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Kind of driving to work, looking at the ocean. Oh, that's a good idea for a painting. But no, but no, I don't. So anyway. Let's tell you what we've got. Prussian blue, Van Dyke brown, ivory black, cadmium yellow, or is it chrome yellow? No, it's cadmium yellow, and a vermilion red. I wonder if I need more of that. Titanium white also. I'm not sure if I need more. We'll see. So, in this scene, on the way to work, did I mention I covered the canvas in Prussian blue? Can't remember if I did. Well, I have now. <laughs> so, on the way to work, time dry, drive along here. And, uh, well, actually, it's more like this now. Oh dear, I have to ring the AA. Because <laughs> my car is in the garage. Yes, anyway, that's other news. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing today. Why did I put the cameras up? What's going on? So, I need to put a sky in. I think I'd just better paint. I'll explain as I paint. So let's get some white and some yellow. On the old one inch brush. Now the sky. There we go. The sky was glowing. It was glowing. Fantastic, actually. It's one of those moments, you know, when you, you look and you go, "Oh yes, that would good. That would be a good painting. That would be a good painting." Just when it's more of the yellow glow, let that sky glow. And then come out lighter, 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 lighter. You could do this on a black canvas and put your Prussian blue one if you want to. It's up to you. Or you could use a white canvas and put the blue on. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Just do it the way you want. Or you, or you could do a painting, make a hash of it, drop it on yourself, and then scrape it off. <laughs> Many a master do those sort of things. <laughs> so I'm just using my dirty brush. To blend out this. Just to blend that out. Just going over the whole thing. Then we have a quite a nice sky, very similar to what I saw. So, right here, well, let's get the fan brush. The old fan brush. Let's start putting things in. Um, push and blue. Use that, I think. Maybe a little ivory black, blah, 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 black. So along here, there is a lot of trees. So, and then let's put them in first. <laughs> the thing is, 
I, I just really want to paint this bit over here because this is where the main bit is. But there's a lot of trees here. She's in a bit dark there. There's trees all the way along there. So what I'm doing to do these trees, all I'm doing is touching, going boop, like that. But then just do lots of them, all different heights. See, lots of different heights. Yeah, so, there's all these trees, but then there's some trees. Let me just, uh, just get rid of this line. Just sort of blend that in with the blue by tapping it. Just sort of blends in. Blends away. So over here, there's bigger trees, a bit more of the blue, a bit more of the black. There's some bright big ones like this kind of size. I'll just tap the corner of the brush. Lots of trees, lots of big trees. There's one there. So to do these trees, while we're uh, while we're painting these, let's just explain one. Let's do one there so you can see it. You just create your line and you load your brush both sides full of paint full of paint and then use the corner of the brush and just touch and as you work down put a little bit more pressure and you go back and forth and you know, all your trees will come out slightly different but that's okay Ooh. Shirts open a bit. <laughs> Let's get that one. A little bit of a tree there. So you can do all kinds, and maybe there's one there as well. There's like a there's a there's a mass of trees here. Sort of like that. But then, 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 in front of these trees, I don't think I've given myself enough room to play with actually. Something like that. There's the old tree here. Let's pull this one in while we're, while we're playing. as well. Good practice for your trees. This is good practice. We don't know. We're just creating another layer here. Quite dark. I can't really. 
I've never really looked this way when I'm driving home. I never really look this way. It's always when I'm going to work I tend to have a look. But anyway, let's scrape off some paint because there's a house here. <laughs> and it's in this point. So let's uh, scrape that off. Whoop. This piece that comes out. Something like that. I think there's a little bit of a building there as well. Flat roofed garage or something. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, we see it's nestled in there. Um, so we want some white and a bit of black, a bit of brown. It's kind of a grey to the brown side. So I'm using this smaller knife. A little bit lighter, I think. Now, in reality, <laughs> this is not reality, is it? This is a painting. But in reality, you don't. You see, when I drove past, I could see the lights on it, so it looked really good. And uh, I noticed the sort of greyish, which is what we've got now, sort of a, a greyish brown colour. I noticed it. I was like, ooh. We'll put that in. Da, da, da. Whoops. With that kind of marbly, it doesn't really matter. Just go a tiny bit darker. Go back here. Something like that. And we've got the garage. We've got the garage. Is it garage or is it garage? <laughs> Garage for me. Yeah, let's put that in. Just bring them up. Put that in front. Bring that a bit lower there. Something like that. Now the roof. I'm going to get a little bit of the red. A little bit of this. A bit more of the red, I think. See, I don't want to go too bright.
That's from Bruges. So I'm trying to think how the, how the house is constructed because it's sort of uh, can't really can't really tell that it's um, go a bit darker. I think I might be able to clear that bit up there because that, that bit's there. Yeah, that's clearer. Because <laughs> this bit juts out in front of that bit. Let's put a little bit more of the red in there. Put in the uh, top of the roof. See that. It's better. Might do the top of this. So kind of looking. Where's so now? <laughs> Let's make this up. Let's change it. Let's do what we want to do. Because we can do that. Well, let's just clean that up around there. I need another look at this building because I'm not. Um, I can't remember how it goes around there. I think the. Uh, I think, yeah. I think they had a, a door in there, but I might move the door. What I might do. Oh yeah, and something else I wanted to do. Just get a bit of this blue. Drove past. A bit of this yellow, a bit of yellow and red. Well, that's nice. A bit of yellow and red. The window up here. That was on. <laughs> that one was on. Maybe the uh, maybe the front window was on as well. Maybe this one got on over the north. <laughs> maybe that window on this side. Anyway, it's quite way back there. Just clean it up with a little bit of the grey there.
Okay, let's use this fan brush. <laughs> it's all quite loose, but that's all right. So I might go into a little bit of yellow with our black, black and blue, black and blue. Put in a bit of colour. Too much. Still quite dark. I'm always looking at that when I'm driving home from work. I'm always looking at the uh, colour of the ground compared to the sky. I'm always trying to think. <laughs> so, what I might do actually, while we've got the fan brush, a bit of the red. really nestled in back there, isn't it? <laughs> this tree as well, sort of uh, comes across like that, or nestles it in even more. When you're doing yours, you can sort of add all kinds of things for, for your little house. <laughs> but I'm thinking now, there's a hedge here. Let's just put this in. Yeah, that's it. So I'm, I might do instead of a hedge. <laughs> I might want to put in some fence posts. Because you do see a lot of fence posts, but... using the small knife again. Nice little fence there. Maybe. <laughs> there probably wouldn't be. In fact, I know there wouldn't be. But this is a painting, so let's put a little bit of the yellow in the brown. A little bit of the white as well. It's just a, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, a little bit of light, just hitting the top of that, that fence. dark under that one. Maybe a, a little bit of light on the
some more of that. Grab some more of this paint. Just put some grass down there. So you could keep this kind of empty, you could uh, add more to it, depending on what you want to do really. And this is the sort of path that has like one of these going all the way down it. They have like grass growing in the road in the middle. Save on this. What I might do as well. I feel like there could be a big tree there. Could be a good time for us to uh, practice trees, couldn't it? A bit of brown. Maybe this tree is a. Uh, uh, What I might do, <laughs> where's my liner brush? Let's put in a few, uh, so we've got a choice, we can uh, choose what season it is. <laughs> we could decide whether we want this to uh, have leaves on or not. Put in a few of these. Branches everywhere. Everywhere is a branch. <laughs> and what I might do as well, I might use the knife. Be a bit sneaky. Get a bit of that yellow again. A bit of that brown. It's quite nice. Nice greeny colour. Maybe some of the lights just hitting this tree. Just here. Maybe it's just hitting it on this bit. And you can choose how dark or how light you want, remember. Maybe you want it to be. I don't think I'm going to put a few, not too many. Get the old black. I just want black. I'm going to tap in a few leaves. I want to see, see some of that dark. Always stand back, always have a look. It'd be really dark here, wouldn't it? That tree's blocking the light. There's a bit of a ditch there, so that'll be quite dark as well. Have you ever uh, 
drove to work in the morning and seen cars in ditches. <laughs> it's very strange. There is a thing going up in there. A bit more light in front. It's probably a little bit too bright that. Let's see how we can uh, we can dull it though. The more we uh, touch it, the more it starts picking up that colour. Not only that, we can get some black and go wee. Darken it. We just want it to uh, look nice and dark. Okay, just standing back, having a look. Yeah, then we've got a, uh, a nice little seam there. I mean, I, I probably could. It'd be nice, wouldn't it, if there was a, uh, a chimney pot? We put in a chimney pot there. And we could even, since the lights are on, maybe a little bit of the, uh, this grey. Think about the colours that's on there as well, it's going to make this disappear quite quick. Maybe we've got some smoke. You can just about see that. And you can really go into detail. You could really, uh, you could get the, get the little brush and go. Well, I want to, I want to see the garage door. You can do that. You could do anything. Whatever you want to do, you could dark, dark under there as well. I think, I think we'll call this one. I might just put in a few. Uh, something growing there, there you can do that you can put all sorts in and if you will, remove all grasses if you want but I look at those and I think they're too bright because my eye wants to go there so I'll tap them away Tap them away and then go back in with a fan brush. Get my grassy shapes back in there. And then I can uh, stand back and maybe put a bit more of that grass in there. I think we'll call this one finished. The only thing that's missing, <laughs> and uh, I'll just put out the one in, you know, one of these hunting birds. I see. No, I see them quite a lot, flying around looking for flying around looking for their prey. <laughs> so we've got quite a nice moody scene there. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll uh, put myself a little JB there. And I'll say thanks very much for watching this and I'll see you another one. Cheers, bye.